Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Princess Daisy from Super Mario Brothers. Let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start on the left side by drawing a curve that goes up and then down for the upper eyelid. We leave a gap and do the same thing on the right side, starting from the bottom on the inside. Now I'm going to connect the bottoms with a slight curve for the lower eyelid. At the top on the inside, we've got two circles, starting from the left side. Do the same thing on the right. Now on the top left, we're just going to draw a small circle for a highlight. And then in the middle of the bigger circle, we're going to draw a small circle for the pupil, starting at the bottom of the highlight. I'm just going to tuck this in behind, and then we'll fill that in black. In between the eyes, we're going to locate the nose. We're going to draw a backward C, the nose, and then just down below, we're going to draw a curve from left to right, going down in the middle, then up, and then below the mouth, we're going to draw a short little curve just for the lower lip. Let's move back up to the top in the center here and draw a point. We're drawing the hair coming down over the eyes. Starting from the center, we're going to curve down and out toward the left, towards the eye. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to taper this back up, so curving it upwards, now from the left side, I want to curve down just over the eye and then pull it up towards the left. And we'll do the same thing on the right. From these two ends, we want to curve it in, so tapering it up. Now we draw another hair bang going out, so pulling it upwards. Now these two points are going to curve in, curve up to the top, and then down in towards the middle. So starting on the left side, I want to curve down and in, and pull it up towards the top of the head, and then down in the middle. And do the same thing on the right side. Just above the eyes on the inside, just underneath the hair, we're going to draw a curve for the eyebrow. Let's go back up to the top and draw in the crown. So we're going to start just above the center point with a circle. Now we're going to draw a half circle along the top, then a half circle along the bottom, and then the same thing on the sides. Now just above the flower, we're going to go step up, draw a point. We're going to angle this down towards the left, leaving a gap just above the head. Now we're going to angle up and out with a shorter line and it will come straight down in behind the hair. Now just on the sides of the eyes, I just want to draw some eyelashes. So on the left side, we're just going to curve down and in, and draw that twice. And do the same thing on the right. Now just beside the eyelashes, I'm going to draw two short lines coming down, just about the same height as the lower eyelid. Now we're going to round out the cheeks and come down towards the chin, bumping it out slightly. Now we're going to bring this underneath the mouth and then we'll bring this back up along the right side. On the sides of the cheeks, we're going to draw in the earrings. So we're going to start with a circle on both sides. Then starting from the top on the inside, we're just going to do a series of little loops like this. Just curving around, almost like half circles. And we'll tuck it in behind the head. Do the same thing on the right. And then there's a little gap between the hair and the earring. We're just going to draw a little curve for the ear. Let's move down below the chin and draw in the neck. So it's basically a half circle first to start. Now we're going to draw in the collar. Starting from this point, I'm going to draw a C shape. I'm going to do a backward C on the right. And we're going to connect those two points with a half circle. Let's move to the outside and draw in the big shoulders. So right on the side of this collar, we're going to curve up, it's almost like drawing a circle, and then pulling it into right about here. We do the same thing on the right side, going out, rounding it out, and then pulling it into right about there. We're going to overlap these ends with the side of the body. So from this point, we're going to step up, curve it inwards, and do the same thing on the right side. Now for these two points, I'm going to curve down towards the center point. Let's 
Let's move back up to the top and just finish off the hair. So underneath this hair bang, I'm gonna curve down and then I'll just pull it back up. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving down and then pulling that up. On this left side, I just wanna hook it back in, so tapering it in just over the shoulder, to right about there, and step back and curve again in behind the shoulder. In the center of the body, we're gonna draw another flower. So we start with a circle. Now along the top, we're gonna draw a half circle, leaving a little gap in between the center circle. At the bottom, we'll do the same thing. Now on the left side, we wanna draw two more half circles. Same thing on the right. Let's continue down with the dress. So from the corner of the hips, we're going to curve out and then down. Going out and then just pulling it downwards. Do the same thing on the right. To the same height. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction towards the center point. Now right up in here, we're going to draw another curve going out just for a little bit of a wrinkle. From these two points, we're going to curve out, down, and then just flick out the ends. Going out, down, and then just turning up the end. Do the same thing on the right. Now we want to draw some pleats along the center here. So from this point, I'm going to curve down and then up. Do the same thing on the right side. We're going to draw another curve going in towards the center. Coming down, and then up in the middle. We're going to add the second layer of the skirt. So from this corner, we're going to step in, draw another curve going out. And then again, we want to draw those little pleats along the sides. So starting on the left side, curve down and up. And then we'll pull this in towards the center. Move down and up. Let's add a little trim along the top and the bottom. So we're just going to follow these curves all the way across. Now let's go ahead and add some pleat lines along these points. So connecting these points all the way up. So right in the middle, going up. And straight down the middle. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. So I have the arms going out and in towards the hips. So we start with the sleeve first. So right here, we're gonna draw a little half circle, leaving a little bit of space in between the sleeve. At the top, we're just going to do another half circle tucked in behind the sleeve. Same thing along the bottom. Let's do the same on the right. Starting with the center half circle, on the bottom, and then the top. The arms are going to get tucked in underneath the sleeve, going out towards the elbow. So let's start on the left side here, going out with a short line. Then we're going to overlap this and curve in towards the body. We're going to go out and draw the outside part of the arm with a straight line coming out. Now we're going to curve in towards the wrist, curving into right about there. We're going to overlap this with a half circle coming in. Now we're going to step out, draw a short line coming down, starting underneath the hand. We're going to curve around that little line. We step up and draw another curve for the second finger. Right up in here, we're going to draw the edge of the glove. So at the bottom of the arm, we're going to curve in towards the wrist and draw another curve going out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So we start with the inside part of the arm first, the angle line going out. We're gonna overlap this with a curve in behind the body. Go to the outside of the arm with a straight line towards the elbow. Now we're gonna curve in towards the wrist, curving into right about there. I'm gonna overlap that slightly with a half circle for the palm. Now at this little point here, we're gonna step over towards the right, just draw a short line coming down go to the side of the palm and circle around that short line in behind the body. Up here, we'll draw another curve for a second finger. Now we'll draw that little wrist detail. Curving in, then across, and that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Princess Daisy from Super Mario Brothers. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.